Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project sales management system and uh, I have developed this project in Java and MySQL. So this is the desktop application and the version for the JDK I'm using is the JDK 1.8 and MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting MySQL with uh, JDK I'm using uh, MySQL Java connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website and this is a desktop application so I'm designing the forms and components using the swing and uh, I have developed a mini project this is a mini project means a uh, very less number of functionalities is available okay so this is all about the technology stack which I have used for developing this project the last thing is I am using the NetBeans for running this project means if you have the NetBeans then you can easily uh, import this project and run it and the version for the NetBeans ID I am using the 8.2 right so this is all about the technologies and id description which i am using for developing this project okay so let's start with the functionality go through so for running this project you need to click on this window and after that you will get the login window so this is the login and you need to enter your user id and password for login inside the system so you need to enter the username that is the admin and the password is test all right so once you log inside the system you will get the sales dashboard right this one this is a sales dashboard and from here you can perform these operations meant you can see about the project and add product product details add sales sales reports and log out so these operations you can perform right so this is the admin driven application so admin can perform all of the operation so once you click on the about project then you will get the about the project and if you want to change the content then you can change directly from the net means and those content will be changed right so this is a totally static page there is nothing dynamic in this right so i am closing it now this is the add product from where you will be able to add the product right so for adding the product you need to enter the product name just like if i am if i want to uh, add the product that lays okay and uh, cost per unit 10 company name lays and type it's a chips and description list tips right so once you click on the save product then that product will be saved into the database and you will get the product details just below the form so you can see this list is uh, showing here but if you want to edit it just click on the edit and just click on the edit record right you will get that this uh, j option and uh, what you want to do with that record you want to edit or delete so once you click on the edit then you will be able to get the record here and you can update the record right so once you click on the save product then that record will be uh, updated right so if you want to delete it you can also delete the record right so this is the add product and then after that uh, this is the product report so this is the product report and all of the products which you have added will be displayed here right so currently there are five products here and these are the id name cost company and the type and uh, you will get all of the product will be displayed here which is available into the database right this is add sales now this is add sales from where admin will be able to start the sale so for that admin needs to enter the customer name name and mobile number so suppose i am entering the uday and the mobile number you can enter anything right and once you click on the start building the sale dashboard will open and after that you will able to select the product and the number of quantity here and once you click on the add item then you will be able to add the product item here right again second product and the number of items then that product will be added even the total cost will be calculated automatically so you can see the cost per unit of our parlage is 10 and the quantity is 2 so the total cost is 20 right and if i add this one and i need five quantities so once you click on the add item then you will be able to uh, you will you will be able to find that the cost for per unit is 40 and five item i am ordering and total amount is 200 so the total sum is 240 rupees right so for saving this order just click on the save order and exit and that order will be saved into the database and you will be able to find this order into the sales tab sales report tab right so this is the sales and that order has been saved into the database so once you click on the sales report you will be able to find all of the orders so this is our last order right 
so you can see uh, customer has paid 240 rupees and this is the current date and time and then the uh, sales id and the name of the customer right so these all operations i have developed and the last one is the logout so once you log out from the system then uh, this application will be closed and for and if you run this project again then you need to enter the admin uh, user id and password for uh, accessing the dashboards okay so once you click on the logout then that application will be closed right so this is all about my project that i have developed in java and mysql the project title is sales management system as i told you earlier this is a mini project and mini desktop application you can tell it also a mini java and mysql dbms desktop application based project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much